Hi everyone, kumusta kayo? And we are back with another skincare routine video. And this one is for many of you na merong oily skin type. Because we're going to help you build a skincare routine targeted for oily skin. Now, I know na sa skincare ngayon, a lot of you guys hindi na alam kung saan magsisimula because ang dami-dami na talaga mga products in the market right now. So, this video is meant to help you know which products to choose or which products to look for kapag nagsya-shopping kayo for skincare, specifically when you have oily skin. And of course, I will also be sharing with you my personal recommendations when it comes to skincare products as someone na oily and acne prone pa rin ang skin type ko hanggang ngayon. And especially if you're oily, acne prone, like merong mga red na galit na galit na pimples sa face mo or kahit merong ka lang mga tiny bumps, blackheads or whiteheads, be sure to take note of some very important points throughout this video para maging effective yung skincare routine na to for your skin condition. So with that being said, wala nang any any, let's start with our routine. Alright, so when your skin is very, very oily, we need to find a way para ma-wash off natin yung excess oil na naiiwan sa mukha natin. Because as we know, excess oil can clog our pores. But at the same time, we also have to make sure na hindi natin masyadong na-irritate or na-overdry yung skin natin habang nag-face wash tayo. Because that can compromise our skin barrier. And kapag nangyari yun, masyado natin na-irritate or na-dry out natin yung face natin, first step pa lang ng routine natin, then that can lead to more complications. Especially if you're acne prone, isang malaking problema na naman yun. So, we don't want that to happen sa skin natin. Which is why for our cleansing step in this oily skin routine, it's very important to get a low pH salicylic acid face wash. So, hindi lang kung ano-anong face wash na merong salicylic acid, but it also has to be low pH. Yung mga low pH face washes kasi mas malapit talaga siya sa pH level ng skin natin, meaning less chances for irritation. But at the same time kasi yung mga high pH na face washes, they're the ones that tend to be a bit drying on the skin. And as we know, yung salicylic acid kasi na ingredient, meron na siyang drying na side effect. So, ayaw na nating dagdagan pa yon with our cleanser. And speaking of salicylic acid, this is also our ingredient of choice sa cleanser na to because as we know, salicylic acid goes deep down into your pores to remove excess oil and dead skin cells from it. Now, usually, yung ingredient na salicylic acid and yung low pH, may kita nyo naman siya sa mga labels ng mga products. But if medyo tamad kayo yung maghanap talaga and you need recommendations, I do have two suggestions for you right now from mga local brands. On one hand, we do have a very familiar looking cleanser because nire-recommend ko to sa mga videos ko ever since 2021. And sa mga matagal nang nanonood ng mga videos ko, you guys already probably know this. This is of course the Pimple Eraser Facial Gel Cleanser from Quick FX, And this one has 1% salicylic acid. So since 1% siya, this is what I usually recommend sa mga beginners. On the other hand, we do have a product na newer release siya, but it's still from a brand na alam na alam na natin, I've been mentioning this brand in my videos, nasa best local skincare ko rin siya. It's from the brand Soul Apothecary and it's their new Gentle Salicylic Acid Cleanser. And actually, may kita mo na sa label niya, low pH and 2% yung salicylic acid niya. So for this routine, I will be using this one from Soul Apothecary because ito yung hindi ko pa napapakita sa inyo and it is a relatively newer product. Ito kasi, parang ilang beses ko na talaga to na-mention sa mga previous videos ko. So, babasain ko lang yung face ko and I'll be right back. Alright, so basa na yung face ko ngayon and it's now time to use this cleanser and what I really like about this is nasa foam pump siya. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of foam pumps kasi very very easy to dispense and also hindi ka masasobrahan talaga ng product because very precise yung pag-pump ng product niya. Alright, so two pumps worth lang to and I'm going to be spreading it all over my face. And again, ang usual rule talaga natin kapag salicylic acid face washes, kung kaya ng skin mo, leave it for at least 60 seconds on your face. This is to help the salicylic acid really penetrate into your skin. Pero kung hindi kaya ng skin mo, as in humahapdi yung skin mo after mga 60 seconds and then i-wash off mo, nafe-feel mo nagre-red, humahapdi de, huwag nyo nang pilitin. For other skin types na medyo mas sensitive, kahit 20 to 30 seconds lang, okay na yon, And then you can wash it off already. Now, while I'm applying this cleanser, I also do want to answer a question na marami sa inyo nagtatanong about mga salicylic acid cleansers. And that is, pwede ko ba siyang gamitin everyday or two times a day? Yung frequency, ano ba yung 
pinaka-okay, kumbaga. Now, what I used to say is, kapag gagamit ka ng ganitong cleanser, try nyo lang at most mga every morning or every other morning kung malakas talaga or matapang yung cleanser. Pero merong mga derms that answer this question a little bit differently. So, I also do want to share this with you guys. May mga iba sa kanila, sinasabi nila, if kaya naman ng face mo and hindi naman siya nai-irritate, para medyo cost-effective din, hindi ka masyado maraming products na binibili, you can use it day and night. Again, kung kaya ng skin mo. So, hindi na sa akin ang galing yon sa derma na ng galing if you want to use it two times a day, basta pakiramdaman nyo yung skin ninyo, make sure hindi siya mahapde or nai-irritate. Kasi again, at the end of the day, ang ina-avoid lang naman natin dito is yung irritation na unnecessary. But anyway, over time na ata ko sa 60 seconds na wala pa yung foam sa face ko. So, I'm just going to wash this off and I'll be right back. Alright, so nagtatawal dry na lang tayo ng face ngayon because we do need our skin to be a bit dry for our next step. And this is a very, very important step by the way. And again, like I always say, this is the heart and soul of every oily acne-prone skincare routine. And it's of course, your acne medications. Now, I do want to emphasize this step because marami pa rin sa skincare community natin umaasa sila na mawawala yung acne or yung tiny bumps nila with just a simple exfoliating wash, exfoliating serum, kung mag-moisturizer and mag-sunscreen sila, akala nila yun yung magpapawala ng acne or ng tiny bumps nila. Especially for those na gumagamit ng mga exfoliating washes, in-expect nila after a few days, after a few weeks, mawawala na yung acne nila. But, kung yung acne nila is malala talaga, even if tiny bumps lang yan, actually even more so sa mga tiny bumps, yung mga iba sa tiny bumps na yon nagiging red na pimple na siya. Because, yung mga tiny bumps na yon acne na rin talaga siya. So, sometimes, hindi lang siya nadadaan sa mga exfoliating washes or kung mga exfoliating serums yung gamit ninyo, it won't solve that alone. Kasi guys, yung mga cleansers, moisturizers, sunscreens, even other serums, nakakatulong lang sila for your overall skin health. Pero yung acne condition mo, ang directly makakapag-address nun is going to be your acne medications. But I also do want to mention na hindi lang isang acne medication yung kailangan mong gamitin for your acne. It's usually a set of acne medications na pinaprescribe ng isang dermatologist. Yung acne kasi iba-iba yung mga causes and maraming factors ang nagkakos ng mga breakouts natin. So, it only makes sense for us to use several acne medications para talaga ma-target yung iba't ibang mga causes and factors. And again, iba-iba siya per person. Iba-ibang mga skin will respond to certain types of acne medications. Yung iba, kailangan nila ng mas malakas. Yung iba, kailangan nila ng ibang set of acne medications. Ang makakadetermine lang talaga will be your dermatologist. And I know meron namang magsasabi sa inyo na ang mahal kasi magpa-dermatologist or wala kasing derma sa area namin. And again, dito pumapasok yung free and online consultations of Philippine Dermatological Society accredited medical institutions and hospitals. So again, libre lang to and online siya. So very accessible. And ang mangyayari is, you'll be able to talk with a dermatologist, ma-assess nila yung skin condition mo, and makakapag-reseta sila all for free. But anyway, balik na tayo sa routine ko. As for me, these are the acne medications that my dermatologist has prescribed to me. Hindi ko siya ginagamit all at once. But just to show you guys, ito yung mga medications ko ngayon. We have benzoyl peroxide 5%. Ginagamit ko to every morning. And then we also have have azelaic acid 20%. I use this morning and night. And then, meron din akong tretinoin, which I only use at night. But since morning routine to, I will be using just these two, itong benzoyl peroxide and azelaic acid. Now, you guys might have remembered na gumagamit din ako ng 2.5% before, which is actually better for those na medyo sensitive yung skin nila. Pero ako kasi, medyo dumadagdag yung mga tiny bumps sa face ko. So, my derm told me na i-up mo na to 5% para maagapan yung mga tiny bumps or the comedones na lumalabas. But anyway, I will be spreading this all over my face. And again, yes, pwede mong gamitin ang benzoyl peroxide around your face. Now, main function nito is basically it helps prevent the spread of acne bacteria sa skin mo kasi pinapatay niya yung acne bacteria. Kapag yung skin kasi natin is very, very oily as explained to me by a derm, favorite yan ng mga acne bacteria. Kapag clog na clog yung pores natin with excess oil, and dead skin cells, dun pumapasok si bacteria. And of course, nagiging red siya and nagiging infected yung skin natin. Kaya siya nagiging red na red na galit na galit na pimple. Additionally, ang ginagawa rin ng benzoyl peroxide is it helps unclog our pores of dead skin cells. Kaya may nakalagay na keratolytic sa kanya. Now, this one is available over the counter. So, if you are interested to try this out, pwede niyo naman siyang itry. But again, be careful kasi technically, medication to. Pwede siya gamitin during the daytime or the nighttime. Pero depende pa rin talaga 
mahalaga sa magiging anti-acne routine mo and sa mga other medications na ibibigay ng mga dermatologist sa inyo. For example, ako, since meron akong nighttime acne medications, ito sa so umaga lang siya for me. Well, anyway, move na tayo to our next acne medication and ito yung 20% azelaic acid that I will also be using. This one, by the way, is from the brand Skinarin. It's their 20% azelaic acid cream. And ito actually, hindi siya over-the-counter sa Pilipinas, pero over-the-counter siya abroad. And actually, ito, pasabay lang to sa friend ko na pumunta ng Australia kasi over-the-counter siya sa Australia. So, idadot ko na siya sa face ko and some of you might have noticed na recently ko lang binalik to sa routine ko. The reason being, for the past few months kasi, okay naman yung benzoyl peroxide and tretinoin sa akin. Pero, recently, after kong mag-stop for a few months na mag-oral acne medications or yung isotret, parang in the fourth or fifth month, meron na ulit ako nakikita mga time bumps, medyo mas naging oily na yung skin ko. So, my derm and I decided na maglagay na ng azelaic acid into our routine just to boost it or para mas lumakas yung routine ng konti. But honestly though, yung azelaic acid kasi hindi siya first line treatment. First line kasi meaning yun yung unang kinoconsider ng mga dermatologists kapag meron kang certain condition. So ang first line talaga is yung mga benzoyl peroxide, tretinoin, yung mga adapalin. Pero itong si azelaic acid, second line treatment lang siya. So hindi siya nilalagay sa routine na parang siya yung superstar. Parang backup lang din siya. But anyway, na apply na yung acne medications on my skin so it's now time to move to our next step. Alright, so this next step is an optional one that you can use as needed and medyo controversial yung step na to kaya ihahanda ko na yung sarili ko. This is your moisturizer. Now, up until now, marami pa rin talaga sa inyong nagtatanong about moisturizer especially for oily skin because there was a statement a few years ago by a very popular dermatologist si Dr. Abello and she did say that she didn't like moisturizers. Now, I actually did ask a lot of different dermatologists about this topic as well as in kung ano yung thoughts nila when it comes to using moisturizer ano ba talagang effects sa skin pwede ba siyang gamitin sa oily skin and after gathering a lot of different information from different experts in dermatology medyo nagkamako to a conclusion na meron kasi tayong misunderstanding when it comes to the term moisturizer now it is true that there are some moisturizers na pwede mag-clog ng pores natin but take note some hindi lahat and the reason is because hindi naman kasi lahat ng moisturizers are the same. Now, definitely, there are going to be moisturizers na hindi talaga designed for oily skin. Like, for example, yung mga moisturizers na very heavy, as in sobrang greasy niya on the face. Ito yung sinasabi ni Dr. Rabello that can clog our pores. Kasi gawa sila sa mga oils, waxes, para talaga mapakapal yung moisturizer. So, if oily skin ka, you do have to stay away from those very heavy moisturizers. Kasi, designed sila for other skin types. However, like we mentioned a while ago, hindi talaga pare-pareho ang mga moisturizers natin in the skincare market right now. Meron na tayo mga moisturizers ngayon na hindi heavy, hindi gawa sa waxes, marami mga oil-free na moisturizers. So, marami tayong mga options as people with oily skin. Kasi right now, yung skincare market natin, marami na tayong moisturizers talaga na specifically designed for oily skin. And yung mga moisturizers na to, very lightweight, yung iba sa kanila mattifying pa nga, and a lot of them are very high hydrating on the skin. Which actually, yun yung prefer ni Dr. Rabello because she did make a follow-up video na mas gusto niya are yung mga hydrators. And yung mga gel-type moisturizers, yung mga lightweight moisturizers for oily skin, marami sila ng mga ganitong ingredients. So if you do need good examples of moisturizers that have these qualities in them, meron akong three recommendations for you. And ito, mga favorites ko talaga to na mahanap mo lang sa mga drugstores. So super accessible din siya. And yung tatlong to, they are actually different in their own way but all of them are designed for oily skin. So kailangan nyo na lang pumili which consistency is most comfortable for you. So for those of you who want a gel or gel cream na consistency na medyo hydrating lang talaga yung feel niya sa skin, I'm really liking this one from Eye White na actually matagal na siya nasa skincare rotation ko. It's their Aqua Moisturizer Acne Plus. Na isaswatch ko lang to sa skin ko para makita ninyo yung consistency niya. Again, this does start off as a gel cream and then, when you spread this onto your skin, may kita ninyo, magkakaparang burst of hydration lang talaga siya. 
and this feels very, very comfortable on your skin. So for those na akala nyo lahat ng moisturizer creamy siya or malagkit, ito guys, hindi siya malagkit at all. Very lightweight, watery, and press ko lang talaga yung feeling niya. In my opinion, this is one of those moisturizers for oily skin na very accessible. Mahanap mo to sa marami mga Watson stores and I think even Mercury Drug merong mga ganito. And actually, yung buong eye white na line, ni-review ko siya in another video. So if you do want more in-depth information about this, like the ingredients and more on the consistency, I will link you to my full eye white review here sa eye button. Meanwhile, if you do want a moisturizer na medyo mas mattifying or meron siyang matte finish, I'm really loving this one from the brand Era. This is actually the sister brand of eye white and this is their pore blur whitening moisturizer. Now like I did say in my video reviewing the entire Era line, kasi ni-review ko to recently, ililink ko rin siya dito. This is not a whitening moisturizer or technically hindi siya whitening moisturizer. More of brightening lang siya because hindi naman lahat tayo fair ang skin type. So, not necessarily magwa-whiten yung skin mo if moreno ka or morena ka. Magla-lighten lang or magbabrighten. Pero if hindi ka white, hindi ka magwa-white talaga. So, as you can see, this is a powdery gel cream. And actually, ito yung ilalagay ko sa face ko because this is one of my favorite moisturizers of the year. And actually, na-confirm ko na rin to because this does have niacinamide but for the longest time, hindi ko alam kung ano yung percentage niya. Finally, sinabi na ni Era doon sa shop nila, this does have 3% niacinamide, which is a good percentage of niacinamide, not only to target mga dark spots, but also to help the health of your skin barrier. It helps strengthen your skin barrier. And at the same time, since nag acne medications ako, niacinamide, really, really good complement siya when it comes to using acne medications. I actually did review this in my best niacinamide creams video na nilabas ko lang din recently. And I did say na sobrang favorite ko talaga tong moisturizer na to kasi very multi-purpose siya. You can use this as a day cream. You can also use this during the nighttime only. And also kung nagme-makeup ka, pwede mo tong i-include sa skin prep mo as a priming moisturizer. So again, definitely one of my favorites when it comes to oily skin. As in, ang dami niya talagang use. And lastly, for those na medyo gusto ng creamy na consistency pero ayaw nila ng heavy, a really really good one I would say is this one from Mentholatum Acnes. This is their oil control moisturizer. And I just want to show this to you guys because yung consistency nito, it's a cream pero lightweight siya na cream. So magpapump lang ako ng product and then as you can see cream talaga siya at the start but then when you spread it onto your skin, mabilis din talaga siya magblend and as you can see, meron din siyang parang burst of hydration that you can see on your skin. And after spreading this, you do get a finish na mas natural siya. Of course, medyo mas matte pa rin yung previous option natin but this one, definitely hindi na siya yung parang sobrang greasy, sobrang shiny sa face mo. Now given na cream type pa rin siya, this is something that I would still recommend during the night time especially if gumagamit ka ng acne medications and of course, you want to prevent irritation from those medications. And actually, on that topic, ako rin talaga personally, hindi na ako masyadong gumagamit ng moisturizer sa umaga. Sa gabi na lang talaga. Personally kasi ako, ayoko masyadong maraming nilalayer na products sa face in the morning. Gusto ko yung medyo presko and lightweight lang. But at the end of the day, it's really up to you if you want to use your moisturizer during the nighttime only or daytime and nighttime. Kung ano yung mas comfortable for you, yun yung piliin nyo. For me though, sa umaga, diretso na ako to the step that moisturizes my face enough already during the daytime. And this is our last step in our routine. Dahil morning routine nga siya, we have of course our sunscreen. Now I want you guys to think of sunscreens as moisturizers, as in may moisturizing base sila, pero dinagdagan lang ng sun protection. And this is why for a lot of sunscreens, kapag gumamit ka na ng sunscreen in the daytime, minsan that's enough already to moisturize your face, especially if oily skin ka. Now there are actually a lot of nice sunscreens right now for oily skin. Skin, pero kakailanganin ko ng separate video for that because ang dami talaga nila. But if you do want that video, let me know sa comments. For now though, these are currently my top 3 favorite sunscreens. And as you can see sa side na to, ito yung mga sunscreens na favorite ko talaga from Japan. And I have mentioned the both of these in my previous videos already. The first one, we have itong Sunbear's Active Protect Milk, the gold version. Gustong gusto ko talaga to because this is mattifying on my skin. And on the other side, ito namang si Kose Sun Cut 
UV Protect Gel. And this one, kung ito powdery finish siya, ito naman soft matte finish. But both feel very, very comfortable on my skin. And actually, itong dalawa ni recommend ko na sila in my previous video called The Best Sunscreens for Summer. As in, ganun talaga sila ka lightweight and I really, really like them for my oily skin. So if you do need a full in-depth review of these products, I will link you to that sa i button. However, it is this sunscreen na nasa current rotation ko talaga because I am really, really liking this sunscreen for my oily skin. And recently ko lang talaga siya na-discover. Marami na sa inyo nagsasabi sa akin ito before. Pero ngayon ko lang talaga siya nabili. It's the U Sunbrella Intensive Care Aqua Sunscreen. So this one is going to be the one na i-apply ko sa face ko. And of course, because I also want to show you guys the consistency of this sunscreen. Medyo paubos na siya, kaya siya shake ko. So let's just apply two finger lengths. And I really, really love this sunscreen because sobrang comfortable ng feeling niya on my skin. Ayan, paubos na talaga siya. So you really know that I am using this product. Now this is SPF 50 plus PA4 plus and it does use two very, very strong UV filters. It has avobenzone for that UVA protection but it also does have the advanced filter Uvinol T150 for the UVB protection. As far as I know, this is not a water resistant sunscreen. Yun lang talaga yung thing ko sa kanya. But I just want to show you guys or I want to focus more on the consistency of this kasi sobrang compatible talaga for oily skin. So as you can see, this starts out as a gel cream but when you spread it on the skin, ang bilis niya talaga mag-blend. As in, ang bilis niya mag-blend, it just has a hydrating feel kaya sobrang sobrang comfortable lang niya on the skin. This one also, unlike other sunscreens na medyo gel cream, hindi siya yung parang malagkit sa face. It's very very smooth yung feeling niya all throughout. And guys, so as in, konting spread mo lang talaga. Very cooperative siya talaga. And perfect na perfect to kasi ang press ko lang talaga ng feeling niya. So, okay na okay siya for hot, humid, malagkit na weather. Lalong lalo na of course dito sa Pilipinas, kailangan talaga yung press ko yung feeling ng mga products sa skin. And with just very minimal effort in spreading it onto my skin, ito na yung finish niya. Medyo mainit lang sa CR na to, kaya medyo pinapawisan ako. Pero <laughs> yung finish niya talaga, compared to the other sunscreens I've tried, hindi siya greasy. And hindi rin siya yung parang sobrang overly dewy talaga na parang makintab na makintab ka na. Which is very important for oily skin types kasi throughout the day, nagpaproduce talaga tayo ng oil. So, syempre, in a way, parang ayaw natin din siya pangunahan, di ba? Siguro, ang downside lang talaga nito is the price because a lot of you products, okay sila, pero yung price is medyo mataas. Yung regular price nito nakita ko sa department store is at $799. But I did check online though, meron silang promo $459 na lang. In fairness, medyo malaki-laking discount din yon, So, I do suggest checking if on pa rin yung promo na yon. And as usual, nilagay ko na rin sa description box kung saan ko to nahanap at a promo price along with the other products that I used in this routine para madali nyo lang silang hanapin para hindi na kayo mahirapan. But anyway, ayun na siya guys. A very very simple oily skin routine. Again, three steps lang to. In the morning, all you have to do is cleanse, acne medications, and sunscreen. And then sa gabi, cleanse, acne medications, and moisturizer. And optional pa yun. And again, like I always say, skincare does not have to be complicated. Again, itong routine na to, very targeted routine siya, pero three steps lang siya at most. So, you don't really need to buy all these products para ma-address yung concerns mo. All you have to do is get the right products for your skin concern. So I do hope nakatulong ako sa inyo in building a skincare routine for your oily and acne-prone skin. And also, here are some videos na I think will be very, very helpful in your journey. Lalagay ko sila dito. And as usual, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!